Yes, today we go back to the festival held in 1985, also in Salisbury. Here's former WBOC reporter and anchor Lisa Spicer. The crowds descended on the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center in Salisbury. They came for the rides, games, and of course, chicken. How much chicken do you have? Uh, we're cooking about four, four tons of chicken this weekend. You think that's going to be enough? I think so. You think so? But people are going to be real full of chicken when they leave here. Inside the Civic Center are booths from area businesses, arts and crafts, and of course, chickens. It's hard to believe that these little chicks will grow up to be part of a billion dollar industry that employs more than 19,000 people here on the shore. But when this little one grows up, he'll be just one of 500 million chickens raised by local farmers. And with chicken being such a big part of the economy in this area, we think that it's only right that we set aside one weekend to focus upon such an important part of the economy. Some 25,000 people are expected to turn out for this weekend's festivities. By the time 5 o'clock Sunday rolls around, everyone on the shore should have had their fill of chicken. What do you think of all this chicken? It's beautiful. Are you enjoying it? Sure am. Is that what, what's going to be the one thing that you remember after this festival? Good question. Chicken probably. <laughs> Lisa Spicer, WBOC News at the Delmarva Chicken Festival in Salisbury. Celebrating Delmarva's $2.2 billion poultry industry that has a huge role in our local economy. Back to you.